I'm Lieutenant Colonel Adam Corkery and I'm the commanding officer of the 21st Signal Regiment. And can you tell me what it is we're, we're doing here today and where it is we are? Well we're into the third week of exercise Flying Falcon. Um, we're situated here on Old Carter Barracks near Bulford in Wiltshire um, and I'm deployed with the bulk of my regiment but plus soldiers and elements from uh, all of the other regiments within 11 Brigade as well. And it's really a trial of uh, all of our communication systems working together um, and specifically our integration between the regular and reserve forces within the brigade. And um, why, why is this exercise taking place? Well the brigade holds uh, lots of soldiers at different states of readiness. My regiment is coming towards the end of our training year and in January next year we go into a high readiness period uh, during which period I should be expected to be uh, able to go at very short notice um, to any operational requirement really anywhere around the globe. And this gives me as the commanding officer the assurance uh, through the exercise that my troops are ready to deliver on that, uh, on that promise. Um, could you explain some of the new equipment that you've got um, on this exercise? Sure. Well, the, uh, the most significant bit of new equipment we've got is the Falcon communication system. And this allows us to uh, provide a, a mobile uh, communications network across really any country in the world and through that network we can pass all sorts of traffic, be it uh, computer information, be it uh, telephone calls for commanders to speak to one another, uh, be it video uh, uh, traffic from uh, any kind of uh, video source, uh, or indeed images. And it's through that, uh, through that ability that commanders can control uh, force elements out on the ground. Um, how important is an exercise like this for your regiment? Well, it's vital. It's really the... Uh, it's really the difference between people uh, thinking that they're able to do something and, and telling me they, uh, they can uh, and then actually delivering on that. And of course it's all the little bits of complexities of, of living in a, an environment that uh, before we came here was nothing more than a greenfield site. Uh, and so we have to look after everything from power to feeding uh, to camouflage and concealment in addition to all of the communications complexities that, uh, that we would be able to simulate uh, back in barracks. talk about high readiness and um, how quickly can you move um, a headquarters out into the field? It really depends on the uh, the size of the headquarters and the complexity um, and of course where where we would be going to. Um, some of the smaller uh, elements we would expect to be uh, ready within uh, within a matter of hours um, such that the commander could come in and start to take control of, uh, of his forces out on the ground. Other larger headquarters um, will take a couple of days to build, um, but then you're talking about hundreds of, of staff officers coming in um, to do lots of planning functions, uh, and so understandably that would take a little bit longer. Um, do you know how many personnel are here on Old Carter Barracks right now? On Old Carter Barracks here we've got about uh, 180 or so. Um, we've just deployed out this morning uh, one of the squadrons out onto the plane, um, and there'll be more going out this afternoon. And really through the week, the numbers here on Old Carter Barracks will reduce as we push more and more into uh, relatively austere positions um, right across the plain. And um, what will the culmination of this exercise be? Well, the culmination will be the final phase uh, next week where the brigade headquarters come out and, and take control of the whole brigade. And so it really moves from a regimental exercise up to, uh, to a full brigade. And at that point, I'm no longer uh, directing what happens. I'm, I'm being uh, given missions and assigned tasks. And really, I've then got to, to respond to whatever the brigade uh, wants me to do. And that's really their way of testing me and ensuring that 21 Signal Regiment can play its part in their plan.
Ya. One zero Charlie, can you send your current lock stack over? One zero Charlie, I read back, share uniform, one three two. Just gonna go join up with a packet. Yeah, yeah. Gentlemen, listen in to the route. Here we are at Old Cotter Barracks. We're going to be moving north out of our location along the road up to the Southern Transit. From there, we're going to take a left turning, drive along to Crossroads Charlie 1, cross the road, and then moving across to Crossroads Charlie. Once we've moved, moved across that crossroads, we're going to push along further up to the next right hand turn, take the right, and follow that road along up to our location at Lavington Folly. From before that, we'll have a stop short at Cherry Tree Farm Wood. The commander will dismount, move forward to the RV location, RV with the 2IC, and then move into the location to do a quick troop commander's recce. Once there, dress back, get into the vehicles, and move the vehicles into the HQ location, straight on up to Cherry Tree Farm Wood. Once there, that's our stop, we'll move on for a kilometre till we hit the next crossroads where we take a right turn and follow. Are you happy with the route? Yeah, I am, sir, yeah. Good. Mount vehicles. Brilliant. 